everybody. What's going on? Uh, got a little bit of uh, footage here on an array. This is some bare bones, uh, which I like to play occasionally because it uh, reminds me a lot of uh, Call of Duty 4, which in my opinion was uh, probably the best one out of any of them so far. It kind of just set the uh, tone for all the Call of Duties afterwards. So uh, I'm using the Spaz 12 here. Um, pretty good with that if I have a, if I have a good connection. Um, one thing about it though, you've got to try to stay in close quarters or in areas where you have some barricades where you can run and get closer to your enemies. So uh, that's why I'm here at the beginning, I try to stay inside of um, the building quite a bit and around the building so that I have some of those barricades to uh, I can hide behind and uh, get closer to the enemies with. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple guys that I play with quite a bit up there. B. Bill here, a uh, guy we play with a lot. Uh, see this guy right here, I come around that wall and shoot him in the building. So I like to try to stay where I've got something in between them and me uh, or in a close room or something. Uh, like here, I'm back in the building again. I don't think I find anybody. Oh, right there. Stab that guy there. Um, and pick up uh, the spy plane. So on the bare bones again, you're picking up kill streaks at three, five, and seven, like the old school game. Uh, get that guy you know, with the spas. But um, <clears throat> I think you pick up a spy plane, uh, then you go with the napalm at five, and then you pick up um, the cobra at uh, seven. So right there, I use that gas tank. Um, to get to be between me and that guy so that I could come around and uh, shoot him with the spas. It's one thing when you use a shotgun, you're going to have to try to use uh, those barricades and stuff to your advantage because if you get in a long distance fight, uh, you just don't really stand a chance as you'll see here in a little bit. Uh, actually, right up here, I think. Uh, yeah, see right there, that guy was just a little bit out of range there and the shotgun just couldn't touch him. So, uh, these guys kept pulling up top of this map up here by this crane and I just got, I got wiped out here a few times with a row bomb. Got that guy by flashing him, but there was three guys right there hiding uh, in behind that jeep, so uh, I think they get killed pretty quick again right here by grenade. I should have, should have backed up and not went up there. And I think I Go up, throw a flash up there. I think I might get a guy this time again, but I think they get me. Yeah, I got that guy with the Simtex, and then the guys camped out up on top of that little tower right there beside that Jeep. So uh, I think I'm going to try to come around on the backside this time. Yeah, I'm going to try to come in, in behind them here. I think they're already, oh, the one guy is gone, but this guy's right here, so took him out. And I think I go back into the building, or try to. This, I do. This guy actually probably flashed himself right here. Tried to flash me, got me a little bit. Stabbed him. Yeah, again, this Spaz 12 is a really lethal gun. It's good on uh, maps like this if you can stay inside the building or close around the building. Uh, you don't want to get on the, on the far outer edges of it because there's just so much distance on this board uh, on the outer edges of the map. Yeah, this guy right here is going to get me. See, he's just too far away for the Spaz, I think. Uh, yeah, I switch it up right here, go with the AUG so I can get a little more distance. I use the AUG quite a bit. Um, but what, what you got here on bare bones um, that I'm playing is you don't have any uh, attachments or uh, anything like that on your weapons because uh, normally I would run um, a red dot with this. Um, and if I didn't have a red dot on it, I would be running the silencer and uh, steady aim. I run steady aim with, with about everything. So. Um, but without the, the silencer, the, the all just has an unbelievable amount of power uh, to finish that guy off right there. But somebody finishes him off with a Simtex right after that. But uh, 
and they all just had a lot of power without that silencer on it. Another guy that we play with quite a bit, his name is Malfords. Um, it's like I'm going back in the building, and there's a guy who steps, take him out, and pick up his nice, pretty, shiny green from or gold from moss. The gold weapons look really cool on Black Ops, it's just really shiny. Pick that guy out. I actually think I, I use this gold for moss quite a bit to so stay alive for quite a while here. Stopping and looking a little bit. <clears throat> These guys are showing on the HUD uh, right outside of this building. I think they're yeah, right out here where they're spawning back in that corner. Pick up a spy plane. See a guy out of the right corner of my eye there. He just went past the window up there in the road. Find the fence and go up here and take him out. Well, Moss has a, has a great uh, reaction time for the trigger. You hit the trigger and it just fires so fast. I think uh, it's the, you got the fastest response time of any gun on Black Ops as far as the trigger response. So I've started using it again. When I first started playing Black Ops, I used it a lot, but then I went to the AUG primarily. But uh, now I'm kind of switching it up between uh, the FAMAS, the, the AUG, and the SPAS-12. Took that guy. I think that was might have been the same guys before with the with the gold from Moss here, and then I go back to uh, all because I think I was running low on that from Moss. Take that guy out. Pick up the Cobra. Right now the game's pretty close, so I'm trying to hold down uh, this building. But these guys keep trying to come in and staying around. They keep staying around the outer edges of the building as well. This guy was hiding in the corner here, so I flashed him and shot him in the head. Oh, that, that guy had no clue I was there. Guy by the by the constructed uh, house that's being constructed, take him out. There's the guy with the gold from Moss again coming back after me to take him out. And then um, there's guys sitting down here at the bottom of the map, take him out for the win. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.